Thanks a lot for coming in. Good morning. Happy to be here. Something about this community appeals to you? This is a wonderful place to live. <laughs> for Kelowna Now, this is Kent Molgat. And we're joined by Michael Wendland, the CEO and founder of Refresh Financial. You've done some polling about how well uh, prepared Canadians are for a financial emergency. And I, and I take it from glancing at some of your results, we're not very well prepared for emergencies. What did your survey find? Yeah, so we engaged uh, Ledger to uh, dig a little bit deeper into Canadians' understanding of credit, what's important, uh, and what's important specifically as it relates to, uh, to credit. And, you know, what we found was, you know, some staggering kind of indications, some of which, you know, we've, we've heard murmurings of through the, through the market, but um, six out of 10 uh, Canadians don't know their credit score. Uh, but yet 96, so basically everybody, all of Canadians believe that their credit score is important. So there's uh, an access and education issue there. Um, and then even beyond that, when we, when we look at kind of economic challenges that, um, you know, are potentially coming in the, uh, in the Canadian landscape, 49% uh, of Canadians don't have any emergency savings. So um, all in all, that's to say we need to do a better personal job of maintaining our financial uh, preparation for some unknown kind of circumstances that are coming Right, up. so 49% no emergency savings and close to that many 43 percent are living paycheck to paycheck meaning that the expenses they're incurring each month they're not going to cover them until they get that paycheck and then they're back down to near zero there's just no buffer yeah that's right there's there's nothing so everything that's coming in it's 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 going out so the 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 the, the line is very very thin if an emergency or unknown circumstance kind of uh, faces somebody and it's and it's uh, it's unfortunate but um, uh, it takes a lot of kind of persistence and preparation to properly kind of manage your budget and know where your money is going right i i'm not sure how you could have defined this but this survey also indicated that 20 percent of canadians are struggling to get by how, how do you define struggling to get by uh, I would define it as a feeling of helplessness in the sense where uh, they are not feeling aligned with their goals, where they thought that they would be in life, perhaps, and that might be involve home ownership. It might involve a lot of things. Um, they're they're not where they thought they would be, and so uh, uh, that feeling of hopelessness or helplessness is sort of how I would define it. Um, right. Uh, but yeah. So. I mean, there's that basic problem with wages being what they are and expenses like housing are so high that I think can lead to a sense of helplessness. But is there any way to go into a financial advisor of some kind and somehow magically get those things to square up? Maybe you have to change your expectations, but... Yeah, I think, I, I think quite honestly, and in, in speaking from my own experience, it starts with me, myself, and I. Unless I want to do a better job of uh, managing my finances and telling my money where to go, uh, unless there's kind of that uh, onus and ownership in my own future. Uh, you can have lots of advisors and uh, specialists and people educating you about it, but unless you want to change and actually do something about it. So it starts with you, uh, right. um, but there's a whole host of advisors out in the market that one can go to, a lot of education. We actually provide, Refresh provides, you know, these uh, financial intelligence training to all of our clients to equip them uh, on all topics involving finances because it's all crucially important, like budgeting right. and saving and how to spend wisely, all of these topics that we're not taught in school. Let's start with your story a little bit in starting this company. I take it you thought of yourself as being pretty solid with your money, but then you ran into a problem. Yeah, uh, in 2008, I was uh, a mortgage broker uh, running my own franchise, and uh, my wife and I were getting ready to buy our first home, and uh, I was actually declined for our mortgage. 
Now that's something that's most people wouldn't even want to admit. You realize these cameras are rolling. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's, it's uh, you know, I, th I think the reason I share it is, you know, to, to challenge people to be more open about their, their finances, about their history. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. It was a glitch in your case, it a, really. It wasn't really that you had a fundamental financial problem. It's that there, you had torn up some, a, a credit card you didn't yeah. think you wanted anymore, but didn't realize it was accumulating. Yeah. Yeah, four years earlier, we had paid off and cut up a credit card, threw it in the garbage, felt really good about that decision. Hadn't called in to cancel the card, so there was a $25 annual fee, and it had gone into collections four years later, and so that small collection of $100, well, like you said, a, almost like a glitch, an honest mistake, had caused my credit score to tank down to 525. So. Um, it didn't uh, allow me to even engage any lenders in a conversation. And so it was kind of that personal feeling of helplessness and of frustration of being told no that kind of prompted me to ask a wider question. Is It was that aha moment that if it could happen to me, it's probably part of a, a wider problem. And that's a focus for your company now is helping people pull things together if they have uh, a bad credit score or problems of that nature and kind of get themselves on a better path. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, in our, in our research kind of uh, findings, we found that 42% of Canadians learn about credit through making a mistake. That's not great, um, uh, but yet it happened to me and it can happen to lots of people. So the reason I uh, started Refresh was really to help Canadians uh, reach their financial goals um, but do it uh, by equipping them and enabling them to become credit trustworthy. So our financial products are the uh, tools that uh, our clients can use, such as a secured credit card or a cash secured savings loan that helps them kind of reprove that trustworthiness in the market uh, and then providing educational components to help them become, uh, uh, you know, just more financially sound and actually accomplish the goals that they had reached out. Uh, originally to begin with. What are some of the mistakes that a lot of people make on a monthly basis that stop them from being able to sort of solidify themselves financially? Uh, I think the, the, the biggest one, and maybe it you know, might not happen every month, but the largest one is, is really not having a plan. Um, so not knowing where you're going. So this is where kind of the, the findings around not having any uh, emergency savings or living paycheck to paycheck kind of results from because you don't have a goal for where you want to be uh, not just in life but in the next kind of three six nine twelve months uh, or in the next five years you know are you saving for a home are you saving for retirement so starting to kind of uh, really be specific around measuring those goals what are they where do you want to be and then working every part of your being to accomplish those. So right. that's when a, where we take a bit of a different approach with our clients in helping them uh, understand what those goals are and then helping them get there. Because without the goal, without that personal ownership, it's you know, all for naught. Because uh, you know, it, it, a lot of things can happen and a lot of things do happen in life when it comes to money. So just taking that proactive, more planful approach is, is right. probably the biggest thing. So you set your plan in place, but then you got to follow it up and actually deprive yourself of that latte and you know maybe just get a coffee at McDonald's or heaven forbid maybe brew your own coffee at home brew your own coffee at home and and <laughs> get that mug that you got for christmas and yeah. uh, do like i was doing there so dust it's that, good yeah. dust that old coffee mug up and make your own yep. coffee it's going to be a big lifestyle change for me but i'll get going on that yep. thanks a lot okay thanks for having me from refresh financial and thank you for watching kelowna now